Uh, coaches change the signs when a player gets traded and then comes back to play against them. Did you have experience with that? Yes. The, okay. Couple times. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Leo DeRocher was uh, was a famous manager and coach, and uh, one year he coached third base in, in the All Star game, and so he was a great sign stealer. Right? They said this guy, he, he had everybody. So he he got up in front of the players before the All Star game and it said. Uh, well, do you guys want us to put in a set of signs for this game, or you want to just use the ones you use on your team? In other words, he knew them all. So <laughs> that was. Uh, I don't. I don't know if we have that anymore in today's game, but it was interesting to see that. Yes, sir. All of the young boys here are wondering what they have to do to aspire to be great players like like you played What do you think they should do? What do you do in the off season to stay in shape to be a great player? What does he do to stay in shape in the offseason to reach this level that he's attained? I mean, what I have to say to, to these guys is like, if you love baseball, just go put your uniform on, play hard, play 100%. It's not a day you have to be like 50 or 70, 80. It's every day 100%. And what I do in the season is I focus a lot, not too much about baseball. Once it's more about my you know, running speed, my body. I work out a lot in the gym, the way I eat is very healthy, and all the stuff, you know, and then when your season starts, you feel great, and then even in September, after you did all that job, you're going to feel like really good, and you feel like you want to keep playing in, in, in the playoff. You know, uh, last winter, a year ago, he did not play winter ball, but you worked hard. I mean, you worked on, on running hard, trying to improve your takeoffs a little bit on stolen bases and your speed, and, and so... Your body does need some rest, though, from playing the game. You gotta have some rest in there somewhere, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, that time that you take off for baseball is the time you gotta take advantage and work on your body. You know, and I didn't play winter ball last year and this past two years, and I think the results have been good for my body. I'm not talking about anything about baseball. It's for it's more for my body. I feel really great. Uh, I feel like stronger and. No, that's part of baseball. And Dallas, uh, tell us now, growing up, how you uh, fell into a good pattern of pitching that worked for you, and then you refined it before last season. A lot of a lot of hard work and dedication goes into uh, you know the fact that we're up here right now. <clears throat> I was I was honestly a, a better hitter than I was a pitcher growing up. Now I'm not very good at hitting anymore, but. Um, you know, I'm a little bit better at pitching, and, and I never threw hard, and that kind of went into a, you know the value of me locating a, a you know a fastball or, or a changeup, and and um, you know had the, the luxury of having my dad as my coach back in, in little league ball. So it was never about velocity; it was all about location. That's the way it's always going to be up here. Um, now, if you have velocity and location up here, that makes you you know a lot a lot more special. But Location is the biggest key, and I always was taught that. And, and um, you know, nobody worked harder than I did, and that's the way you know I was I was wired. Um, nobody put in more work, and I always knew I wanted to to have the chance to play ball. And, and whether or not that came true, um, you know, that that wasn't going to bother me. But I knew how hard I was being, I was able to work. And um, you know, we were never, me and him were never highly touted prospects coming up. We just continue to work, and I mean, the last couple of years, I've seen this guy work just as hard as anybody in the league. Um, you know, physically wise, and you know, baseball wise, and um, you know, when, when you see a guy like that being able to put in the work to, to be this good, it makes you want to be you know better as well. So, I think we uh, we got some guys now that are, are willing to do that, and, and uh, hopefully, we're going to turn this thing around. And what they've done is work intelligently. You know, they've, they've studied things and, and made some changes that uh, have made them much better players. For instance, with you, I think you pitch inside a lot more effectively now than when you first came up. and that's.